Yo, I'm here. Just jumping into it real fast. Uh, I know it's been a real long time since I've been posting. I haven't been really active, active. Been uh, kind of just stewing away, you know, letting things just marinate. Um, so I'll just jump into stuff real fast. So we had the Pro Bowl. We had two players from our team, Denzel Ward, Miles Garrett, made it to the Pro Bowl. Congratulations to those guys. Um, also, in this side of the Pro Bowl week, I did get to see a little bit of the skill challenge. Um, I wish they would have did better in the, the dodgeball, but... That's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is we had players representing us there. And they was from the dog pound. After that, we got Baker Mayfield. Is there an argument that Baker got snubbed? Maybe. Maybe so. But... Let's talk let's 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 put it in perspective here. You got Baker Mayfield, number one overall draft pick, come to the Cleveland Browns, who has just been known, I mean, notoriously known, at least since we came back in nineteen ninety, since after we had Tim Couch, of just being a garbage disposal to quarterbacks like uh, that's not even a, a good good analogy but basically I'm trying to say we just been catastrophic like quarterbacks have not been able to survive here you get Baker Mayfield come here and literally take it by the straps and like he just like like a wild like a cowboy, bro. Like I'm talking about. Somebody gonna say something about that. Anyway, like like a horse rider, you feel me? Just like just took it by the straps, you feel me? And calm this motherfucker down. Calm this shit down, like and had us looking like a team. And Freddie got in there. I mean, even before Freddie, though, like, it was just, dudes wasn't getting open, and we had a lot of in in injuries as far as the receiving core. So then by the time Freddie did take over, you know, most of our receivers was getting back. So, and Baker just that type of dude where he just, he made everybody better, everybody better. So you got that, and he took that team, and they almost went, they almost went above 500. They almost had a winning season. And not to mention, he set the record, the NFL record for, for a rookie, most passing touchdowns for an NFL rookie. I mean, <laughs> I, I guess, you know, putting it up against what Saquon did, there's, there's no, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying that Saquon didn't deserve it. Did Baker get snubbed? There it could be an argument, is all I'm saying. He took a team that you don't I mean, even though they was talking about like oh, we were looking good with the tie rod and everything like that, with the tie rod sign. And I've I was confident in that too, but when we, when I knew there was a chance that we was going to get a quarterback and then they was talking about Darnold, and I know I say this every time I make a post, but I just couldn't do it. I just could not do it. I could not see his head, his face, after every game, us losing, and him just, like, looking, like, dumb and coming up with some, like, smoke and mirror answer about, why we didn't get it done. Every time I like 
watch Baker, man. It was just like he was honest. I knew he was the one for us. When he's I just knew it. You know, when he said what he said, turning the franchise around is gonna be him. I knew it. I was like, this dude got it. He's what we needed. He was he was what we needed out of Johnny, basically, like with that swagger, that mentality, but he's a baller. And which leads me to say that I watched the Super Bowl and I was looking at Jared Goff and I'm just like, man, this dude is is terrible. Like this this dude Jared Goffel. Like I I made a catchphrase. Jared Goffel. Like this dude's crazy. But I'm as I'm watching Jared Goff though, I see that in my mind I'm like I'm so glad we don't we I'm so glad we got Baker man I'm so glad we didn't get him I'm so glad we got Baker because I could never ever imagine seeing Baker fold under those lights like that I just I mean maybe it is possible I could say it's probably possible you know you're going against Bill Belichick but I mean I just I don't I would never ever imagine myself seeing Baker that look that scared or that just like out of it, you know, like they, I feel bad for them. So that said, I could see the Browns there next year. I could see the Browns next year on the condition that we draft Greedy Williams this year. We draft Greedy Williams this year. Somehow we make that happen. Super Bowl. Perfect, perfect scenario. Somebody with a dog pound mentality that's going to be a competitor. He's going to make Baker, Baker better by making a secondary better. And you got somebody that's going to make Baker have to throw through even tighter windows. Come on, man. Greedy Williams. Get greedy out here, man. That's my, that's, that's my campaign, my campana. Let's get Greedy Williams to the dark pound. Tell Dorsey. Somebody tell Dorsey. All right. Signing out.